Here below is a definite integral problem. Uh, this is a traditional problem, but I chose it for a certain purpose because most of the students are going to fall in. Well, the normal way to integrate is integral of dx over x minus 1 is lin absolute of x minus 1, and then you evaluate over the definite interval which is from 0 to 3. So you say ln 3 minus 1, which is a 2, minus ln absolute of minus 1, and then 1 is a 0, so you get ln 2. But this answer is wrong. Why? Because the integral is improper. We call it improper integration, because the function vanishes at x equals to 1, and 1 is included between the interval of integration. And remember that the basic definition of a definite integration is not but the area under the curve or the area bounded between 0 to 3 for the function indicated with the x-axis. So as x goes to 1, the function vanishes. So you expect that the area goes to infinite. So how do we solve it and what is the correct evaluation of this definite integration? So all you have to do is to break the integration at the value of x that makes it discontinuous. So we say at x equals to 1, we break the integration. So integral from 0 to 3 for the given function f of x dx becomes integral from 0 to 1 plus integral from 1 to 3 for the same function f of x dx. and the integral for the first part becomes integral from 0 to 1 for the function dx over x minus 1 is not but the limit as c goes to 1 minus integral from 0 to c for dx over x minus 1 and you continue one more step so this becomes the limit as c goes to 1 minus. Integral for this function is lin again, which is x minus 1 in absolute, and you are evaluating from 0 to c. Well, c can be any other name, like a, b, whatever. And this becomes limit as c goes to 1 minus. You replace c by its value, so or x by its value, so you get lin c minus 1 minus lin absolute of minus 1. Well, this goes to 0. And what is the limit? As c goes to 1 minus, you get here lin is 0, but lin 0 goes to minus infinity. So our integration diverges. So the whole integration, which is from 0 to 3 for the function f of x dx, diverges as well. And this is your answer.